As far as physical therapy in birds go, uh, it's a very broad term and it depends on the individual, what kind of physical therapy and rehabilitation we do on the bird. Uh, today we worked on a A ah, that had a wing injury, a wrist injury, and the physical therapy for that bird involves uh, doing stretching of the wrist uh, to help regain some mobility there. They have very long pointy beaks uh, that can harm you. Their nails can also scratch you, so you do have to watch out for your safety. Uh, if we're going to be handling their beaks, I definitely recommend heavy gauge gloves. I'm not going to be handling her beaks, so I'm just using regular gloves. Uh, and I like using a towel to grab them. All right. For physical therapy, I'm going to leave her covered up except for the right wing. And I usually count, I try to do 20 to 60 seconds. And then I, I have a hand on her wrist and a hand behind her elbow to support the wing. Um, if, I, if I just grab the wrist and she pulls back, there's a chance that I could harm her. Uh, so that's why having another hand on the elbow is helpful. Let's get that wing tucked back over here. All right, let's get her to the pool. Uh, these are all seabirds and this is a good environment for them, provides enrichment and it also helps keep their feathers clean. That, that's one of the challenges in captivity and rehabilitation, keeping them clean. Uh, in the wild they're eating fresh fish from the ocean uh, so they don't really get dirty but the fish that we provide them has been frozen that causes the fish to break down a little bit. There's oils that as clean as we try to be may end up on their feathers. So this is a way of, of keeping them clean.